Hello and welcome back to episode 17 of African Power, where we're playing as Congo in the EU4 1.34 Sweden update, going for the African Power achievement. We are quite a bit there, but we are also very far away at the same time of conquering all of Africa. Um, we do now have the Mamluks as a vassal, so we can reconquer all of their juicy cores against the Ottomans at some point. The Ottomans are quite strong still. They're a tech ahead of me. They are allied to a bunch of small nations, thankfully, so that won't be too difficult to deal with. And we could call in the Russians and the French to assist us. So there is that. Uh, the Timurids have been much less useful. Um, they've been weakened quite a bit. It might be worth getting rid of them as an ally. I'm not sure. Their debt is definitely pretty crippling. But they could at least be a nice distraction for a war with the Ottomans. Uh, on the other front, um, we have almost conquered the entire south of Africa. We have one Spanish province and these Portuguese provinces to deal with. Our truce with Portugal is up shortly, but the issue is... Um, they're allied to the English, so I'm going to start currying favors with the English. And maybe we can just have them break their alliance. Uh, let's stop improving our relations with Fazan, and I'm actually just going to annex Fazan. Uh, they're not very big, we just use them as a reason to go to war with the Tunisians. And we now have Tripoli for that same reason, so... That's pretty well taken care of. Uh, I do not care about Portugal's opinion of me. Uh, Russia would like some sailors from me. They can go ahead and have them. Uh, let's get this marine army moved over here. And we'll also get them a couple cannons. And some cavalry just to help out a little bit. Um... Let's take the unrest and manpower recovery speed. Go ahead and take the excess points. Truce with Portugal is up, but as I said, they're allied to the English. And the Spanish and the Ethiopians. So we might even just go for Ethiopia once again in 37 and use that as our pretext for war instead. I'm going to go ahead and slap out the Manny integration policy. Naval hubris, I guess we'll lose a stability for no reason. And go ahead and boost our stab back, right back up. Um, where is my fleet? Oh, they're out here. Good thing they're not destroying themselves. Um, I would like to... Are we going to seize land again anytime soon? A couple years. This is going to need to build itself back up. I'll take the missionary strength though. Let's actually move our fleet back towards Africa and we can really buff this fleet up. A couple of the nations that we have as targets are some of the strongest naval powers in the game. So I feel like we're going to need a fleet in order to deal with them. We are losing innovativeness. Are we that far behind on our institution? Huh. How far has it spread? I was not paying attention to how far behind on our institution we are. Our absolutism is only going up slowly, and I could really force it, but I don't think I want to. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's embrace institution. Um, this should go back to being a protect trade edict. And we're going to take all of our techs. Well, that explains why the techs were so expensive. Uh, we'll do some development as well. Uh, 
Uh, we do already have a dev cost on there, so we'll just boost that up a bunch. That's these three provinces, right? Bahmanis is no longer a valid rival. So let's stop with the... We'll stop that when we get a chance. We do have another... Uh, another, um... Merchant, so let's have him steer from somewhere. Let's actually have him transfer from here. I'm going to go ahead and repay some loans with the rest of the money. I only did that so that I could afford to do what we need to do. We now have uh, the Fazani army as part of our own. Let's go ahead and combine these two. We can continue converting provinces. And we are working our way through everything we can. Let's go ahead and revoke our embargo on these boys. Um, does that move us back up higher on the Great Powerless? No, we're still in the same spot. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and rival the Ottomans. Uh, I cannot revoke that until 1644. I feel like I might as well push through and finish off maritime ideas, even though I'm behind on my Diplotech. Okay. We no longer need to work on them. Let's go ahead and tell these guys to improve with our subjects. Just keep them nice and topped off. Uh, these guys want some ducats. I guess they can have them. Uh, we'll go ahead and go with the plus one yearly absolutism. Some peasants for the Mamluks. We'll be fine. So Ethiopia is up in February 1637. That is going to be our next war. Bring some armies over here to deal with... Actually, you know what? These guys should actually be going over... Send two over here. And we'll send two over here. Uh, we'll also go ahead and send this army up here as well. And then we still have our two armies down here, so we can siege these provinces too. Doesn't look like anybody has colonized that last province there. Uh, 50 admin power and 10 discipline. That's awesome. I'll just take the prestige hit. Uh, Mamluk revolt is fine by me. I don't care. Can we seize land again yet? Not until 314. So basically I'm going to wait till March to declare that war. Do this. What is this? Soyo with a temple. How long is that going to take to build? 12 months. I guess we'll wait one more year so that we can do our crownlands. Because we need to get those up as well. We can go ahead and turn this development edict off. And I should just go through and do my due diligence and make sure that I have no unnecessary edicts running. And I've got quite a few. Not as many as I thought I would. So as soon as that temple's built, we can seize land, declare war in Ethiopia, take down Ethiopia and Portugal some more.
keep converting heretics. Take our last idea. That'll get us capped off there, and we can go ahead and go with, at the very least, I think, heavy combat, heavy ship combat ability for now. That's done. We can seize Crownlands. We're up to 69%. Nice. And we will attack the Ethiopians, and we're going to bring the French in once again. Uh, let's go ahead and attack for one of our own claims. Uh, let's make sure these boys have a leader. Let's get you up on Fez, get you over here, get you on Demnate. French will get themselves access through the Spanish. Uh, we'll go ahead and do these as well. Um, how about you autonomously siege... as well as you autonomously siege. There's a little bit of overlap, but between the two of them, they will get it done very fast. Uh, both these countries stand no chance against us and our alliance blocks. Uh, the sack of Fez. I'll just take the money. Uh, we'll take the national unrest reduction, obviously. We can go ahead and get ourselves onto this province. Move these armies down here. This army can make their way up north. They're going to be useful in future wars. Marrakesh's siege is over. Which means... We'll get these guys on to autonomous sieging. Merchant class advances. 10 influence. Whatever. Uh, we lost one of our half price advisors. That's annoying we can go for tax modifier guy I guess double promote him get him up to plus three our truce with the Mamlux is over oh Hadramaut is on them it's okay though we'll be fine We've got Ethiopia full siege down. We're going to have Portugal full siege down in no time. We'll get on Tafilalt, get their gold mine taken care of. Uh, Switzerland wants military access, I guess because they're at war with Spain. Sure. Not like it's going to do much for you, but if you want it, you can have it. Lost some province claims. Nothing important, though. The French have sieged down their mainland. We are sieging down their African holdings. Uh, Diplotech cost or infantry cavalry cost? Let's go with the Diplotech cost. Because we are going to be doing Diplotech really fast at this point. Uh, we've renewed a couple loans. That siege is over.
All right, we have a claim on Benghazi. Diplo Tech, let's take that. As soon as the French take this province, we're going to be in good shape. Uh, this is going to cost us quite a bit of money. Uh, can we just go ahead and exploit a little bit of development to hit that? Let's do it. Okay, they're full siege down now. Uh, the most important provinces to take right away are what's left in southern Africa. And then I also would like to get you guys to break your alliance with England. Go ahead and give me some war reps. No, you won't. How about some money? And a little bit of money. You can keep your North African holdings for the time being. We will come back for those later. Go ahead and do that. Uh, this fleet can just land again. Core up all of those provinces. This army will stay here and just make sure you're watching for rebels in this region. And then uh, Hadramut take care of their armies yes please not really worried about getting them taken care of though so first things first provinces we have claims on and then the provinces that Funge has claims on give them those as well and then I can't afford to take their last three provinces but that's fine we'll just take some money from them and there we go Ethiopia barely exists at this point we can go ahead and core up all of those provinces and that's another big gain for our progress towards our achievement So we're looking at 1645 to go to war with Tunis. We could go to war with Songhai, but they have the Ottoman alliance, and we don't want to do that. Spain could be a target. Portugal would still help them, but we could bring in the French and the English. The Russians and the Timurids are not willing to join, though. Uh, going to join up with Spain pretty much means that we would be, or going to war with Spain would mean we're targeting like these regions. Uh, Tlemcen doesn't even have much left for claims. Yeah, a lot of those areas don't have much even left to go for. Um, we are working our way. Let's see, we got favors with England. Let's go ahead and start boosting our trust up with the English. Um, I should probably stop carrying favors with the Mamluks. I don't really need them anymore. Um, let's go ahead and start building a spy network on the Ottomans. The Russians are feeling pretty good about me as well, but we can make that even better, so let's keep boosting up their trust. 
and the French Trust. Uh, the French attacked Bahmanis? Really? It's going to be quite the war for them. Going all the way over there. Okay, our trust with the French is maxed out, so I can kind of stop worrying about currying favors with them. Uh, we do want to boost up our trust with the English. And continue boosting our trust with the Russians as well. Lose some sailors for no reason. Keep boosting up our trust with our allies. Let's go ahead and go with the unrest reduction. Uh, we can take our next tier of government reforms, governing cap, core creation cost, minimum autonomy and territories, possible policies or tolerance of true faith, and war score costs versus other religions. Well, we are just barely over our governing cap, so I think Latasamwa is the choice to make. Go ahead and core this up and do the enforce religious unity edict. We'll be looking at now minus 1.2% still. Uh, do we have a religious unity guy? There we go. Get the missionary strength guy going. We'll take our Diplotech. We're now caught up there. Uh, missionary falls ill. We'll just spend some points to not let that happen. Military technology on the yearly tick for innovativeness could be useful. We'll go ahead and convert some Coptic provinces. Our leader's a free thinker, even though we don't really need it at the moment. No longer claim has been. Um, admin tech. I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Keep ourselves way higher than everybody. I could do admin deving, but it's not really worthwhile. Uh, we will go ahead and recruit some generals. Provinces are all coring up. And we can take Mill Tech for innovativeness, keeping ourselves well ahead of everyone else. Just make sure we got some leaners on our armies. In case we want to do any drilling. Alright. I think that is a good place to call this episode. Um, let's go ahead and do some trust boosting real fast. But if you like the episode, I would appreciate a like. 
If you really liked the episode, I'd appreciate a subscription, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.